Welcome to the Grok Shop in part 8 in my series of Cody Compendium. In this video I'll show how to customize the home menu items in Cody. Now if you're a big fan of Confluence, the once default skin in Cody, which is still a great skin, unfortunately you won't really be able to easily customize these home menu items. And that's because they just didn't design an interface for doing it. It is possible to do it under the hood, but it's a little bit tricky and not very straightforward. And even if you are successful changing it under the hood, your changes can get easily wiped out by the next update. So really, it's just not a good idea. I don't recommend trying to do that. So if you're really stuck on Confluence, you're kind of hosed, at least with respect to customizing these home menu items. There is an alternate skin very similar to Confluence called Zonfluence, which is highly customizable. And I would recommend it if you have the resources to run it. Um, if you guys have been following along, you'll know I'm doing a Raspberry Pi setup. And it's not really well suited for Zonfluence because Zonfluence is sort of a heavy skin and it kind of slows things down to where it's not very snappy on a Raspberry Pi. But if you have the resources and you really like the Confluence look and feel, Zonfluence is a good option for you. As you can see, it does have the interface for configuring these home menu items. And it's just very highly configurable overall to start with. So actually, there's quite a few skins that will allow you to configure these home menu items. Here, for example, you can see Arctic Zephyr, which is nice and clean. I was tempted to use this interface, but actually ended up going with Eminence in the end. But the takeaway is you just have to find the skin that you like and that allows you to customize these home menu items. Once you have one, they're all basically configured in the same fashion, which is what I'm going to show you now. Okay, so checking out my home menu item, you can see I've got one custom item called anime on here right now, the little puzzle piece. Now I'll go to settings, skin settings, under home, customize home menu. So now listed here on the left, you can see the actual home menu items and my one custom item anime. You can add one by hitting the plus sign here, and this one adds after. So the anime one is not configured yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and add another one for my surf movies. So here I'll just go ahead and set the label. The two main things to configure are the action and the widget. Action is what happens when you select your new menu item and widgets what you see with the little icons when you hover over the item. The best way I've found to configure these is to have smart playlists set up. If you haven't seen my video on playlists, be sure to check that out. So what I'm gonna do is for each the widget and the action is to set them to my smart playlist for this particular item. So since I've already set up my smart playlist for anime, I'll select my anime smart playlist for widget and I'll do the same for the action. So of course you don't have to use smart playlists. You can see as I'm going through here, there's quite a few options besides smart playlists that you could use. I experimented with some of these and uh, had some trouble with some of them. If it's based off the file system, for example, it might be a little bit laggy as you're going through your menu items. If you're on like a Raspberry Pi, um, it might not be so bad on a full blown machine. You'll just have to experiment yourself and uh, find out what works best for you. But smart playlists seem to work well for this platform. So once you get it all set up the way you want it, when you head back out to your home menu, you may notice that the very first time that you select your new items, it shows incorrectly. Um, that's because it has to rebuild the menu for those items. You'll see that pop up there. Uh, but after that first time, it shouldn't happen again. It should be nice and snappy as well. So there you can see I was just showing how to do the widgets. Now I'll go and show how to do the actions, but it's basically the same process. Um, you just go through and select that same smart playlist. In my case, of course you can set it up however you want, but in my case, I'm setting it up with those same items and you can tell it to just display, not necessarily play all the items in the list. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'll take you guys out showing you what it looks like when you're ultimately finished. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Be sure to stay tuned for more Cody Compendium videos. But as far as how to customize the home menu items in Cody, that's how it's done.